So we're we're gonna we're gonna talk about the last four years. Um, kind of sick, mainly the last four. I, I don't want this to like get political, but I'm gonna just kind of be rambling. All right, it's not really not really a related topic. Like there's not one thing I want to hinge on. Probably gonna be all over the place, but. If, if I could borrow some of your time, I really just want to talk about this shit. Like... First off, wait, the other thing I just went through, let me tell you. And then, you know, not allowing people, like, out Americans, you know, to, to help stopping aid and all that from hurricane victims. I mean, I really got stuff, like, I wrote some of the stuff, right? But, again, it's not like that. that's the one thing I want to hinge on. What I really want to talk about is just everything combined. It's like, it's just, again, I don't want to be political, but even the politics, I mean, it's just like, things keep happening, you know what I mean? And then, I don't know if any of you guys have had to deal with, like... Just, just random cards, like, like picture you had a deck of cards they just fall down right for no reason but it happens back to back to back that that's basically how my last four years has been see i worked for the post office right had a, had a lot of fun but the post office doesn't really give you money to pay for your mail car or any of that and of course it, whenever I'm finally getting the groove of my job and I'm feeling happy and I'm I'm basically like the neighborhood mailman and people now know my name and see my car and are happy to see me and talk to me right as that starts to happen I've built my deck of cards but guess what immediately it falls because as I'm going up the mountain to go back home one day from helping another post office mail car blows up right so I can't afford another mail car so, I lose my job. I mean, it, it's just that simple. So, you know, there's there's cards. And then, after that, I'm jobless, I'm looking for another job. And then, my fucking house burns down. So, now, now I'm borderline homeless, but thankfully, I have family. So, I'll live with some family. It's fine. But, of course, that starts drama. And then, of course, I can't find a job, so I talk to the Air Force. I want to join the military. Well, I start doing that, and all of a sudden, that that is taking forever. I've been out of a job for way too long, and I really wanted to join the military, but nope. Nope. That'll, that'll take forever. That can't happen in a timely manner at all. just it's just it's shit like that man and that's just over the past year this is the what i just told you is only over the span of this year like from basically december 23 to now and i mean later this month i get my ship date but like i got no money no nothing and it's just terrible and then the politics stuff like i mean i don't know and then of course, that's not everything. I mean, my mom, God, dude, that insurance from the house, uh, my mom couldn't dare give me any of that. No, nope. no, nope. we both live there. The insurance covers both of us, but the check went to her, so it's her money. Like, I basically lost everything. This computer survived the fire, thank God, but if it wasn't for my girlfriend, I probably wouldn't be living where I'm at. I probably wouldn't have a place to put this computer. Hell, I without her, I, I don't even know what I'd be doing right now. Like, yeah, I have family, but, I mean, stuff ain't free. Like, it's just, it's just how it is. It's just, it really just does feel like the world is falling apart. I mean, like, even just talking about the Air Force thing, right? Like... I was gonna go in there, and what's really been holding me up is when I went to MEPS. See, I used to harm myself back when I was like 14. So, I have scars on my wrist. And I had to tell them about that. And of course, when they find out about that, it's, oh, you can't fucking, you can't be a part of the Air Force, you can't do, you can't do IT. I mean, you scored perfectly to do IT, but you can't do IT. You know why you can't do IT? Because you hurt yourself back when you were 14. It's just like, I mean, yeah, I get it. I understand. I really do. But on the on the same note, I mean, if I was going to kill myself, I feel like I would have already done that, given the house fire, all the stuff before then, the mail car situation. 
And the thing was, is the mail thing, it would have been a dream job had it not been for... It, it had been a dream job had it not been for the circumstances that got me there. See, the post office is not... Like, they're government, but they're not, like, government. They're more government-endorsed, as one of my friends has put it. And that is just true. That's just how it is, and I can't change that. You see, the post office, you have three kind of mail carriers. You have the the lowest here, which is an ARC. You have the highest here, which is a CCA, or the supervisors, but they don't really deliver mail. Um... And then you have what I was, which was an RCA. Now, the CCAs are the city carriers. They're usually in the LOVs. Not always, but if you see an LOV, it's most likely a city carrier, right? If you see a personal mail car, usually in a very dilapidated state because they can't afford to fix anything on it, that is a rural carrier. That's what I was. Now, as a rural carrier, you have to have your own car Pay for your own car, and the pins too. If you need a pin to mark a mail up, nope, they're not giving you a pin. That's not happening. They couldn't be bothered to do that. And so, and then not only do you have to buy your own car and do that with it, but then, hold on, I'm about to die. ruh -roh. Um, not only do you have to buy your own car and deal with all that mess, and then, the, and this is the real kicker, it has to be right-hand drive. Of course it has to be right-hand drive. If it wasn't right-hand drive, how are you going to deliver mail? Well, I don't know. I guess you'll straddle the middle of the seat, which a lot of people do that. But I could not manage that because my car that I was going to use for mail has a center console. I can't straddle it. So, I had to buy a new car that was already right-hand drive and paid three grand for it. That car lasted me a few months before blowing up. And now I see why the other mail carrier wanted to get rid of that car. But, you know what's crazy? It's just it's just how the thing goes. The post office basically told me to fuck myself. Um, I was like, uh, I need some help. I can't deliver mail. And they were like, oh, well, we can't really do anything. Are you going to be here next Saturday to run mail? Like, uh, no, I don't have a mail car. But, no, nah, that's beside the point. Uh, apparently, they expect me to have one. So, next best thing, I'll become an ARC. Yeah, I'll be an ARC. That'll be real fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, so here's the kicker about being an ARC. You still have to have your own car. It doesn't have to be uh, right-hand drive. That's very good. But you still have to have your own car. So, where am I going to get a car? Well, I don't have money for another car. Oh, well, isn't that just fucking dandy? So, there went my job. Just like that. And, you see... It's just, it's just stuff like that. And, but, but I really love the post office. And actually, I'm going I'm to I'm talk about the post office for a bit. So, see, the post office is really fun. I mean, there's actual people you're helping every day. I mean, I'm sitting there and I'm talking to people that just have nobody to talk to. There's been t countless times that I've had to come talk to an elder. And she'll be sitting there like, my, my nephews never visit me. And... You know, my mom and dad is dead. My my sisters have are now sick or over the state, and it's just sad, man. But you know, they're they're happy to talk to you. Um, which the post office isn't happy you're talking to them. The post office wants you to get on your route. But I worked for a good post office. They were they weren't on my ass twenty four seven. I mean, they really could have been, but they weren't, and I'm I'm thankful for that. But that's what really made me love my job was I could sit there and talk to people and actually feel like I was making a difference oh my god but it's just it's like you're making a difference being for the post office you really are there's people out there that even though people don't really get snail mail the people that do still get snail mail really do need the snail mail um, and most people you know go online but the other kicker is is we're really more Amazon drivers. I've delivered way more Amazon packages than I have mail when I worked for the post office. That is what really beat up my car. The people that live out in the boonies 
that want Amazon, and Amazon doesn't have any offices nearby, so they contract us, the postal workers that deliver mail, to deliver that. And, I mean, it makes sense at first, it really does. Uh, until you realize that these people that are ordering Amazon packages and aren't getting mail, usually are because, like, it, like let me rephrase, these people that are doing this, that can't have Amazon deliver their packages, it's because they live in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I'm going down, and because it's a package, I can't stick it in their mailbox. Now, some of the small ones I could, but, like, these huge packages are not going to fit in their mailbox, so I have to drive down their completely washed out dirt road to drop their package off, and it, it just tears your car up, it really does. And that, that really contributed towards my mail car demise, like it really did. But I enjoyed it, I really did. Um, and then the pay is another thing, see the city carriers get paid hourly. The rules, the, they, we do too, however, there's one stipulation. The cities are paid hourly no matter what. If your car breaks down, you're paid hourly. If you're running the route and you get done early, well, you got paid for what you did, like hourly-wise. Um, not really good. We have it a little better there because, see, if they gone over, they're getting paid to go over. See, if they work 11 hours, they're getting paid for 11 hours. And it would be a similar story for us, too, except there's some stipulations. See... We have evaluations for our route. So there's a X amount of time that they think our route is gonna take. And we have that amount of time to do it. If we do under that, so if I work an eight hour route and it and I get it done in four hours, well I'm getting eight hours of pay. That's really good. You know, the cities would have only got four. But and here's the fucking kicker. Is you know, that sounds dandy, but think about this. Right? They evaluate the route, and they're giving us extra money, but it works the other way, too. See, if I'm on the route, and I'm driving for 11 hours on this 8-hour route, I'm only getting paid 8 hours. Now, the only difference is, is if I'm in training, or if I'm a relief for that route. That's not the case. But if I'm the regular, which, by the way, that's a whole nother kid and caboodle. If I'm the regular, I'm basically getting scanned for my money. And... I basically only get 90 something cents per mile when I'm running the route. So th this is this is something I didn't want to talk about but since I brought it up I might as well talk about it. It's just kind of bull, right? So they don't help you with the car and the reason they don't is because they already do help you. But the help is called paying you 90 cents a mile. Um, apparently that 90 cents is supposed to be enough to cover buying a car, the gas, and the maintenance. I'm sorry, but if you've ever bought a car, 90 cents a mile is not it. I would have to do like 6,000 miles just to buy the car. That's not covering my gas. So, in other words, I'm basically expected to get a car every like five years. And literally take it from someone who's just worked at the post office there's no way your car is making it five years on the mail routes it just ain't they're called rural mail carriers we're out in the middle of nowhere driving on nowhere roads dirt roads county roads bridges like all kinds of roads and let me tell you i mean unless you live in some kind of well-funded city these roads are not in pristine condition i mean the amount of times i've been on a gravel road and you know, I have to take a turn and, well, you know, I hit a pothole, I hit a ditch, I hit a culvert, I hit something, or someone left their trash can out in the middle of the road because I'm out in the middle of a trailer park. Like, I mean, it's just not easy. And that's not counting blocked mailboxes, too. Some people don't really think about, oh, well, you know, the mail carrier has to pull up and put mail in it. And you might think, oh, shit, well, you're just lazy. Just get out of the mail car for one mailbox. And, you know, that would be fine. But you're not the only person blocking your mailbox. And... Also, I have 700 mailboxes on my route. I, I can't get out for even a quarter of them. Not even 10% of them. 5% of them is already pushing it. I already have to get out for the Amazon packages. I'm not going to get out if I don't have to. I'm really not because it doesn't make financial sense. I'm being paid to get this route done. I do not have time to get out and drop your mail in the mailbox. You'll get your mail Monday. All right? 
like, stop covering your mailbox. But that's just that's just some pet peeves, you know. But you know, um, it's just it's just I mean, I mean I guess that's what it is. Just pet peeves. See, you might be thinking. Oh well, you know, if it's this bad, why do why do why are there some mail carriers? I mean, obviously people are working there. Well, one, not very true, because all the new mail carriers, it's a sixty percent turnover rate. Sixty percent of mail carriers do not stay. Alright. But even looking past that, you'll go, okay, well, my regular this has been delivering mail for a long time, and that's true. But let me tell you something. That was before there was Amazon. That is also probably because they were brought into it. Like, there's so many people that I met at the post office that their grandmother did it, their daddy did it, their great aunt did it, or they married into it, their wife does it, so now they do it. And it makes financial sense to them because they've been doing it for so long that they've got it figured out. Now, if you come in there new like I did, you don't have that figured out. You're not married into it. It's not like you have a, like a bunch of stuff. Now, the only good thing is with all that is there's a community i mean i've never had to deal with hating a co-worker the only exception is one of my supervisors like some of the supervisors has never delivered mail like if you have a supervisor that's delivered mail perfect if they've never delivered mail you're gonna hate them because they think they know what's going on they really don't um, but I mean, I guess you could say that for any job, but the only thing is, is you'll never get slack from another mail carrier because they understand what you're doing and they respect you. And that's just something that I've never experienced at Walmart, um, a local restaurant near me, McDonald's. I've never experienced that anywhere else. And, and keep in mind this, it's not like I'm old. Like I haven't like experienced a bunch. So you know, I'm only 20, which in a few months I'll be 21, but it's just like, I think, oh shit, I think I know enough to be able to sit here and say that the post office is way more friendly than other jobs. However, you are not being compensated like you need to be. You just aren't. Um, but, but, but moving on, right? Like, I could sit here and talk all day about the post office. And most of the people that are sitting there doing your mail, they really do like you. Like, I mean, they might talk a little smack behind their back, but in the end, like, they would not be delivering mail if they did not want to deliver your mail. They just wouldn't. Um, they just wouldn't. And, uh, you know... Um, and I like that. I really liked working for the post office. And honestly, it's, it's, it's really a dream job. I mean, if, if the pay was just a little bit better, it'd be perfect. It really would. Um, the union doesn't do their job for the rules. Um, but if you're thinking of doing the post office, be an ARC or be a city. Mainly a city. But if you want just a part-time fun job, definitely be an ARC. Definitely be an ARC. Um, you'll have to buy your own car, but being an ARC doesn't have to be right hand. Because you're only delivering packages, no mail. Isn't that something? Um, I really just wish I knew what else I was going to talk about. Because I've, I've gotten really derailed and heated on this topic. Like I'm very passionate about it. Um, honestly, I wish I would have recorded more when I was in the post office. Uh, I was spending too much time learning, and I had plans to record more, um, except, as you could probably tell, uh, my mail car blew up. I can't do that. I don't work there no more. Um, I wanted to. I don't. I don't want to. I would have loved to. could tell you all about it. Oh, I miss it. But... Anyways, if you really think about it, though, I don't know how long the post office is going to last. But, I said moving on. Well, I guess I'll move on now. 
like there's just so many things that just don't make sense in the world like from the, the post office thing and then the politics going on like with the, what fema's doing and like gun bans and just like gun control and like i wouldn't say i'm republican but you know i just don't get it man uh, the second that we've divided ourselves on among the parties, I think that's when we've really cooked it. That's that's when we really bit the dust as a country, I think. Because um, it's gotten to the point where it's just... I don't understand why we have sides. It should be pretty common sense what right and wrong is. And yeah, you might have different opinions on how you want to do your right and wrong. But in the end of the day, it all boils down to the same thing we want. We just want to live, be happy, pay less. Very easy. The only difference is some people can't use their noggin. I mean, the money money ain't free, yo. If you make if you make stuff free, someone's paying for it. It's just that simple. Someone's paying for it. Um, but no, that that's really. That's really just the bread and butter of what I wanted to say. I mean, I could probably say more. Oh my god. I could probably say more, but like, again, I wasn't, I don't, I don't have a script. I don't have any of that. I just wanted to talk. Um, another thing, right? Games. I love games. I'm sure you could tell I'm playing good old COD, right? Old COD. That's very important. New COD sucks. Um, but it's just like games nowadays, like they just aren't what they used to be. They don't have no soul. They ain't got nothing like that. I mean, they're like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting old and like, I mean, again, I'm not like super old. I mean, I'm not trying to say like, oh, you youngins don't understand. I'm not trying to say that, but I am trying to say is stuff just don't feel right anymore like i just don't know what it is stuff don't feel right but honestly i think that's about everything i really have to talk about um if you want to if you want to hear more please let me know i i would love love to talk about it i just don't know what to say i just don't know what to say i really don't i don't have enough money for this but i'm gonna do this so i can alt f4 this game yep goodbye